Nuremberg took an eight-game winless run into this clash within form. Wolfsburg, the visitors had firepower. Wout Verkost has scored five Bundesliga goals in his maiden season, while former Nuremberg striker Daniel Ginsek had scored in his last two games. And it was Ginsek who forced the first save just four minutes in, latching onto a pass from Maxi Arnold before testing Fabian Bredlow. An early confidence boost for a goalkeeper who'd made mistakes in the defeat at Bayern on match day 14. To their credit, Nuremberg recovered from a shaky start and grew into the game. And on 41 minutes, they came close to a breakthrough. The ball was worked to Andre Petrak. The Czech midfielder's a fierce drive, not too far away from giving him his first Bundesliga goal. Goalless at the break on a freezing cold night in Bavaria. Wolfsburg always looked the more dangerous team in attack, and on 57 minutes, they came desperately close to an opener, Yannick Gerhardt finding Weghorst, who found an upright. The Dutchman denied what would have been his first league goal in over a month. A minute later, it was his strike partner Ginsek's turn to threaten. He was teed up by Arnold, and he finished like a man in form. This was Ginsek's fifth Bundesliga goal of the season. Nuremberg lacked quality and focus in attack, but they thought they'd equalised on 86 minutes as Adam Zelak forced home a loose ball. To his horror, he was flagged offside. Replay showed that it was a tight call, but the correct one from the linesman. Wolfsburg rubbed salt into Nuremberg's wounds with the last kick of the game. A substitute, Josip Brekelo, scampered away to wrap up the points. Wolfsburg have now claimed ten points from their last four matches and are perhaps pushing for Europe. This was another damaging defeat for Nuremberg.